Made on Zencaster. What we're going to call this episode real quick. What we're calling this episode? Sa- um, I don't know. What do you want to think? Samception? No, but there's no there's no two there's no two Sams. Uh we can call it uh playing with fire. How's that? That works. <laughs> Gee, oh. you're just inviting her for violence. <laughs> yeah, I thought we already discussed this. That was like the main point of this whole entire show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy. And I'm Jimmy. We are the Bulk of Skull Podcasting, and we want to welcome you to the numbskullery that is the Zeo to Hero Podcast, where creators and fans come together to share their love of their fandoms. Let's go. All right, well, all right. anything close to what I was expecting, but all yeah. right, then. You know, I just, I just threw a curveball to you. How do you, how you taking it? I, I, I don't know how to process this information. Um. I just wanted to do the little kid from the Thornberries, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I feel like the kid from the Thornberries is the same as the uh, as the Tem- uh, Tasmanian Devil guy. The exactly. guy who does his voice. The same uh, thing. Same thing. Either one. So. This is Lord how we open our episode today. This is how we open up our episodes now. I can't even speak now. Jesus Christ. I I uh, I hope uh, I hope everyone's prepared for uh, for this. Yes, this is how we're doing it from now. On. We're we're a fully loaded train screech uh, screech and brakes right now. You know, so this is going off the rails. Yeah, we have a we have a guest in the screech house. Train. Screech Done. and brakes. Uh okay. Well, yeah, our guest today. It's a redemption uh, episode. Redemption episode. You know, for who you? No, it's for. For you her. left me on the line by myself. <laughs> uh, okay. It got weird. <laughs> hey, man. Money over what? Come on. Not money? <laughs> not money? They're not making any money off this? No. <laughs> All right. But we have, a, we have a really cool guest on today. Uh, she's been on before. Uh, she's popped in our lives a few times with mm-hmm. talking to us because I don't make the links private. Went in our group chat because yeah. I'm a genius. She's also given us a couple of lives where she, she just flips us off for about 10 seconds and then dips out. Yeah. 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 Now. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Uh, Fire Lord but, Sam and or Sam as everyone else knows her by. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> so you already welcome her on the show, Billy? Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, I'm dropping her in. Dropping it. She's in. <laughs> She's in. Hi. She's in <laughs> Do we have technical failure yet? Ben's no. not here. We're doing fine. Oh, that's right. Oh, right, right, right. As long as Ben's not here, we're we're doing great. <laughs> hey, Sam, how you doing? How are you guys? Oh, you need to calm down with that language yeah, right whoa. now. Hey, take it back. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Don't want so long customer service, Sam. You want I'm going to kill you while you're sleeping, Sam? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let's, oh. everyone, let's do our customer service voice thank you for calling Zio to Hero my name is Jim how can I not help you today press 1 if you are trying to reach our business hours are from 9 to 5 press 2 if you want to talk to a representative about your problems press 3 if you want to see Jim in a hula hoop that don't even circulate around him Press four if if you need to reach fire in emergencies. Press five if you want to speak to a representative. Press five if you want to speak to a representative. Yeah. Press five. <laughs> it's on loop. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna play a bad song. Yes. Commercial break now. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, but I yeah, that goes so... up, by the way, our commercial breaks with a uh, Ben. Yeah, I'll have been looking like commercial point. breaks. I'm gonna have them in the video feed. And... I'm gonna have them in the video. I'm gonna have them in like the, the end. Like I, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna do them yet, but they're gonna they're we going have... in the lives and they're gonna be great. We <laughs> should have like a, a a diabetes awareness, a, like commercials with like just Sam sitting in a chair sipping like Dunkins or something. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, have you taken your insulin today? <laughs> <laughs> the range is right next to me. I could just go start. Shooting stuff and air. What in the world? <laughs> she has syringes for something, yes. and I don't know exactly what it's for, but she I has. I literally some. have a medical supply office in my room. 
<laughs> you do realize you have the filter on for your yeah. camera, so you can't <laughs> yeah. see Jack Daly's squad. You can't see nothing. <laughs> I don't know what, what filter. It's the blur background filter on your phone. Yeah. Like it, oh, I don't Skype know. Skype does it by itself. By the way, we use Skype for a lot of these recordings, so now you know. <laughs> Behind the cat's out the back. And thanks, Sam. You just ruined thanks, everything. Thanks, Sam. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But no one informs me of anything. I don't know what's going on. I just show up and hope for the best. <laughs> hey, that's how we started the show. <laughs> that's like that's like me when I go to the DMV. <laughs> like, sir, sir, you need to leave, sir, yeah. sir, 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 sir. You need to leave. Sir, what? You need to leave, sir. <laughs> you need a shirt to come in here. Oh man, sir, you can't come in here demanding you have a license with no with no form of identification. Yeah. You know who I am. <laughs> you know, I went to the DMV like two days ago, and some girl that had to be in her early twenties was like, "Well, I lost my ID. Somebody stole my wallet, and I need to get a new license." And the guy was like, "Well, you need identification. You need to, like your birth certificate or this, that, whatever. You know, typical DMV shit." Yeah. And she was like, "Are you kidding me? Like, what? I don't have any of that. My mom has it." Well, then go like, talk to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Well, you need to, you need to do this. This is how you get an ID, or you need to go down to Social Security and get your Social Security card." Like he's trying to tell her how to be an adult, and she's just like, "This is fucking stupid," and she like left. And I was like, "Oh my god, I hate." <laughs> I'm nope. just, I'm more scared that how your impression was like dead on. Oh, I have a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why do you think she has like what ten thousand, eleven thousand now followers on TikTok? Oh, because I show my boobs every now and then. I don't really think there's any other reason. And then uh, they get surprised that you know I will just blatantly show up in my robe, not showered in three days, and be like, "I fucking hate JD up." Ah, <laughs> cage fight me, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> yeah, busy and like. You know, it's funny because somebody had commented, I don't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, um, JDF is the best dot 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 overrated Power Ranger ever. And I thought that was the greatest comment ever. So, like, he responded it. And I was like, you could stay. You could stay. And, like, all, all these people like this video. And I'm pretty sure they did not see the overrated part. They just saw that JDF was the best. And oh, that yeah. from it, and there's like a... <laughs> it was just ridiculous. I was like, "You people are dumb." <laughs> there, there's something called confirmation bias. Like you only see what you want to see. Oh or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or selective reading or hearing. You know? Oh, that's a big thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I met uh -huh. a I met someone who uh, who read 19, uh, 1984 and completely missed everything about the book, and I was like, "We're gonna miss." <laughs> <laughs> like. Try that Ow. one more time. <laughs> oh, people are special. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have yeah. customer service for like 12 years. So like I've seen all walks of life too with mm -hmm. that. So like with the impression stuff, I just pick up on the experiences I've had and I just mimic those people. It's easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I, I worked at customer service too. And so... Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like everyone needs to work in customer service for a couple of years. Like, just, like, at least two yeah. years. Like, work in customer service, get the experience behind it. So, you know, when you go and talk to someone at the DMV, you don't sit there and cry about not having your stuff. You go, oh, thanks for helping me. I appreciate it. Like, thank oh, thank God. No one told me what I needed? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> right? Like, oh, my. God forbid. God forbid yeah. somebody help me. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, man. Okay. So I, I worked at a. I worked at uh when I was working at Google Fiber. Uh, this is a little while back, and uh, some dude called, and he was high, like super high, and I was like, "All right, dude, we're gonna fix your TV, and we're gonna get it working." And like we went through the whole process of fixing his TV while he was baked. Oh, and I was like, "All right, man, what are you gonna do?" And he's like, "Well, we just sat here, and we just sat here," and I was like, "Okay, okay." And he's like. I'm hungry. And I'm like, well, dude, you know what you should do? You should get some Taco Bell. He's like, there's a Taco Bell right down the road from my house. And I'm like, yeah. I guess like, I got Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> and we spent like an hour and a half on the phone, like to turn off and on his TV. Uh, that was it. 
Oh, oh. Way to go. Ah. They people were fun to talk to. Like, uh, like when you do a customer service, like the people call in who are just having a nice time kind of thing, like just kind of like flowing. You're like, okay, this is good. Uh huh. Those guys are great. But then you get the ones who just call in to yell at you, and you're like, I can't control anything. What's going on here, person? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks for yelling Thank at you. me. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I did a I did gas station. Mm-mm. Oh God! I you can't... were that you were that gas station attendant who knew which guys wanted the three burritos and two beers. <laughs> <laughs> the sad part is, yes, <laughs> you were that dude. You're like, hey, remember? Yeah. Okay, so Billy, Billy used to work. Uh, so we we used to live cl- uh, together, and so you worked at the gas station down the road from where we lived at. And one day I'm standing there, like I'm hanging out with him, and he, he sees his car pull up. He's like, grab two beers from the cooler, bring them up here, and go grab three burritos. And I'm like. What? You grab them. We're throwing the microwave right now. This dude likes this three burritos and two beers. I'm like, okay. <laughs> the yeah. guy walks in and he's like, the, the burritos are ready. He's like, they're like, I got you, man. And the dude's like, man, you're the coolest person who ever worked here. And I'm like, that tracks you. Know? <laughs> yeah. He's all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you see the guy every day, you know, you kind of get to know. <laughs> at one point, at one point, Billy could do taxes in his head, like, can do uh, sell sacks in his head. That was yeah. creepy. <laughs> yeah, I've never then seen him do math before. Then one day he like then, uh, he like sells tax for uh for like a candy bar like in his head. And I was like, yeah. And then a uh, unfortunate accident where a pecan fell on my head and I got a concussion. I forgot it all. Yep, exactly. <laughs> he has no idea we're talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but, uh, I did a uh, customer service at a grocery store for six years, and like I was like doing all the cigarette orders and all that stuff and like lottery and all that mm-hmm. so like i would have like customers that were in all the time and i would know their lottery numbers that they would pick and i knew the pack of cigarettes and how many they wanted or if they wanted a cart and like i would already have it prepared for them by the time they got to my counter and they'd be like see this is why i come to you and i'd be like yeah <laughs> like, that's why i'm feeling good and, like, yeah no like you know the giant 24 cases or 12 packs of water or whatever i memorized all the barcodes for them mm-hmm. so for me no one had to lift them out of the cart i would just type it in and bring them up and people would be like what is wrong with you like why do you yeah the way you say well, well i'm bored <laughs> yeah well when you look at numbers all day it just you can remember a lot of yeah, stuff it's, it's absolutely yeah. insane the crap that you retain I'm like I yeah. never forget the code for bananas is forty eleven. It's like ingrained in my head. Any other fruit, you can't ask me. I don't know, but I know bananas is forty eleven. I think you need to start playing those numbers. <laughs> forty eleven in lottery. Yeah, forty eleven. <laughs> Run those numbers, man. Run those numbers. If yeah. you went big, uh, I call percentages. Uh uh-uh. like, You owe me percentages. She, if she won, she'd forget about us. No, probably. <laughs> She would probably send us snail mail us uh, pictures of her at like the beach in Kokomo or something, <laughs> or like, or like reenact the whole Encanto movie. So you know, if I ever, <laughs> but I would never. First of all, no. Secondly, <laughs> um, if I ever won the lotto, first thing I would do would be buy a house back in New York because I want to go home. <laughs> Secondly. I would buy out that antique store that I always find the really shit at because I I need to take pictures and show you guys because the amount of stuff they have supplied that store with recently is so overwhelming and I would just buy it all and then I would distribute between all of us because like there uh. are duplicates of stuff that everyone can have something and it's just it's overwhelming and that so you I, would be our you, you would be our bankroller then. Uh huh. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I can live with that. <laughs> I would I also well, try to turn most of my organs into like AI at this point because they're all dying. So like that that's also third on priority. Why Power Ranger toys is before that? I don't know, but well, maybe. you know, medical technology is <laughs> only so far advanced. Well, toy technology yeah, yeah, is yeah. really a far, yeah. <laughs> like, really, really. Ahead I mean, of time. come on, <laughs> come on. You have to wait three years for a kidney, but I can go to the store and get a a, a penless Power Ranger figure. Come on, right? <laughs> America, explain. Yeah, please explain, explain right now. 
definitely going to either buy some new organs or get AI ones. We'll see. I don't really yeah, yeah. want to be Terminator Sam. I don't think I'm ready for that power, but... Uh, well, you're already Fire Lord Sam, so, you know... Yeah. If we, we, we had to make you a Fire Lord Terminator Sam. That'd be a little weird. Yeah. I mean, I'm all I'm all right with it. Just don't come back looking for John Connor or anything. Because, no. I mean, I'll move to Mexico at that point. <laughs> no, no. Like, who are you looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for... <laughs> I'm looking for Billy. I'm looking... <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm looking for... I'm looking for that. Um... <laughs> I can't think of nothing. Never mind. Scratch it. Sam, who are you looking for? I'm looking for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going we're gonna to do this podcast one way or another. <laughs> It's gonna happen. <laughs> He's only like four hours away from me. I just had to just drive to his house and be he, like, <laughs> "You totally could." Like, you know, yeah. I, uh, I'm not saying we have his address, but <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because like every time I drive uh, to New York, you know, I I go through Knoxville, and he's like right outside of that, and I'm like, I could literally just veer off and scoop you up and steal you. <laughs> I probably- exactly. He's probably like six foot something, and I'm like, no, he's not even six foot. He's like five um, foot ten, something like that. No. He's not, <laughs> not very tall. No, no he's like uh-uh. five foot. Yeah, five foot eight, five foot he ten. Said five nine. Everyone's taller than me, so I just assume it's the six foot mark at this. Point. You know what? Just go for the knees. You're fine. <laughs> go right yeah, for the knees. Yeah. Baseball bat. Take to the, the knees, knees out, works. and you'll be taller. <laughs> Like we're we're not endorsing uh, we're not endorsing violence here. I'm just helping Sam even, even the playing field. <laughs> It's not even the playing field. It's just coming to terms or uh, uh, adjusting the height disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's a numbers game, man. That's all it is. <laughs> all it is. That's all it is. If I wasn't afraid of breaking my ankle, I would wear like platform shoes or like heels or something all the time. Oh. To, like even the the height difference between me and others, but like I would bust my butt. Do you wear those ridiculous like uh shoe uh shoe stilts things like um no the look inserts? At, look at my Converse, they're like so old and dingy. <laughs> oh my god, you've run those things dry. I've had them for like eight years. <laughs> Dang, they got no tread on them. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, my shoes better last me three years. At, at that point, you just got slides. <laughs> uh, I mean. Worst part is, is like I have like newer vans too that I bought over the summer. Uh, I do wear all the time, but mm-hmm. like since I've had these forever, they're just so comfortable at this point. Yeah, I'm, they're the ones yeah. you wear. They're, they're just comfy to wear. Yeah, I Great. totally get it. I'm not. I just I got some vans too, and I don't know. They just hurt my feet. I, oh, I can't wear them. I mean, I'm so used to having shoes with no support in them that if I uh. have the support. My shoes, it hurts my feet more because it's like, ew, why are you trying to comfort us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your feet are tripping out. What is this foam? What is this? <laughs> yeah. What is Uh-oh, going on? Sound here? off the alarm. Like, then the alarms. Yeah. <laughs> like, what well, what is this stuff right here? Ow, my like, ow, we're gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Like uh yeah. I was wearing a uh, a new pair of uh I wear sandals a lot because you know, I work from home and doesn't really matter. <laughs> and all, so I was and wearing a pair of sandals, built, like, you're... and so I got these like really nice ones with like, uh, not like super nice sketcher ones. Like they're super nice. I'm like, all right, cool. And I was walking around, and like I almost killed myself. My ankle was like, nope, ah. <laughs> yeah, and I was like laying I'm around, I'm like, out. okay, <laughs> cool. That that feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> and my other ones, like I normally wear, are just like completely worn in. Like you can see my footprint in the sandal. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh yeah, no, that no support at all. But those, those are the ones yeah. that were comfortable. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you were gonna have a compound fracture at one point, and you're just gonna be like, eh, I'll walk it off. <laughs> it happened. <I've laughs> it happened before. Um, a, a couple years ago, uh, I was uh, so I I had to take a trip to New York and get on a, a ship in New York for what I was doing before all my IT stuff, and um. I, I threw my. Uh, I was on the back of the truck, uh, our mom's truck. I was the back of it, and I threw my bag in. And I turned around to jump off, and as I turned around, I slipped, and I fell. And like as the 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 chrome bumper went po- by my face, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna hurt!" And I slammed to the ground <laughs> and bounced back up. And I saw the chrome bumper again in my face in it. I was like, "Oh, this is gonna hurt even worse." <laughs> and I bounced back down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I walked around, uh, so I, I, it was a work crew, so I went to go work to get up my license and stuff and whatnot. I was walking around for three months on a cracked ankle. 
That was terrible. And I, I didn't realize it was cracked until like I couldn't feel my toes. <laughs> Well, and uh, you the doctor was like, anyway. you have a cracked ankle. <laughs> Why are you walking around on a cracked ankle? I was like, uh, I have to work. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. yeah. So, it, it's happened. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Uh, that's my life story right there. Of uh, me being incredibly dumb. <laughs> I'm so. True. <laughs> Billy can contest to this. I, yes. I might be smart, but. Uh-huh. Hey, I've broken my pinky playing baseball, and I got tired of sitting there on the bench during practice, so I took the cast off and went and, and wow, nah. Yep, and nah. now it's all funny. <laughs> that, that really hurt, yeah. <laughs> trying, trying to catch them throwing the balls at you, and then it's hitting the glove your broken pinky's in. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a genius. I'm, I've got a lot of smirch up there. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I'm a, he's 100%. Hundred percent dumb. <laughs> uh huh. I'm a wild. Uh, I'm a wild card. You're a wild card. You mean you're the card that they take out of the pack? The yeah, uh, the, the, the instructions <laughs> cards. <laughs> it's the instruction card. <laughs> you're supposed to remove those. Well, <laughs> now with an Uno game that's just all wild cards, and I want to see what that's about, but I have no one to play with, so it's like <laughs> it's all wild cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that, I, that's uh. uh uh, show waiting to happen like i <laughs> my god regular uno destroys families and relationships as it, what I, what what really wrecks family relationships is a monopoly and risk yeah. oh my god risk oh my god oh also monopoly destroys tables too because oh, you will not, flip a table oh they came out with a um a monopoly uh you know how they have different themes of them they came out with a Disney villains one, and I was like, "Oh, this looks really cool. I would be into this." And then I was just like, "No one to play with. Not spending forty dollars on a Disney villain game. No." Ah. Uh, oh yeah, no. I'm, those those are actually kind of those games are kind of cool, but they're really expensive. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. So, like I was at Barnes and Noble and I was checking them out because I, I was at Barnes and Noble and like they're forty five dollars for the expansion pack. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, guys, calm down. It's not... I was like, what the heck is going on here, guys? Yeah. Like, calm down a little bit. No. No. That, that's what they're all about right now. And I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Disney. I appreciate it. Damn it, Disney. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, it, it's almost like a thirst trap. <laughs> like, come, 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 come play, uh, come play your games with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have these oh, Disney man. villains. And they're kind of... Except for Ursula. Though I like Ursula the most because she's like that villain that's like uh, straight up just I own my whole life kind of yeah. villain. Like the rest of the Disney villains, okay, cool, they're fine. But Ursula, like, I don't know, she was great. <laughs> yeah. Ursula is great. Like, I love, personally, also love Ursula. And I've always wanted to do, like, for Halloween, like the whole Ursula outfit and everything like that. But it's so expensive because like every year for Halloween, I'm gun ho on dressing up. That's my thing. I love Halloween, obviously. And every year I'm like, I'm going to do Ursula. I'm going to do Ursula. I'm going to do Ursula. And I never, ever do it. Cause I'm like, I look at the prices of the costume or to oh. myself and I'm like, nah, no. <laughs> you know what you should do? Okay, for... What you should do is get the, uh, get the, uh, the tentacles 3d print it and like string them up and stuff, like walk around with them stringed up. Maybe that's something I could talk to Sam about. Be like, hey, mm -hmm. how do you feel about printing me tentacles? And he's going uh, to... He's going to be like... What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he's like, hold on. What? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he'll be game to question. do it. Like, as long as you tell him it's for Halloween and stuff, I'm pretty sure he'll be like completely game to do it. Oh, yeah. But like, oh, dude, can, can we? And he'll be like... Because, you know, it's going to be like, oh, I had to make like the thing that, for the lines you go through so for them to move and everything. And he's like, going to do the whole thing. Watch. Oh, I know. I'm not going to uh -huh. put words in his mouth, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be like, that's intriguing. <laughs> Before I, I ask him about tentacles, I think I, I want him to print me um, uh, the Ranger Slayer helmet just because I feel like that would be just neat to have with my, my sweatpants. And yeah. That, <laughs> not a costume, but I consider it a costume. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. Baby steps to worse big costumes. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, okay. fighting comfort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like the fight in comfort, yeah. 
I just want you to have the old uh like the uh, Adidas tracksuit. Um, I would so. Co- I would. I listen. I love Adidas, and I have a really cool pair of Adidas that I've had for like four or five years now. They're all black. It's the shell top. It has to be shell top Adidas. Can't be the other ones. Has yeah. to be up all black, and then like the three stripes and the heel part are iridescent so they shift between purple and blue and oh, they're that's cool. my favorite freaking adidas in the whole world oh wow own, other than my neon yellow ones which i ah. was getting rid of when i was a kid but i was stupid back then so there's that yeah. but it happens yeah. i just i just want you in the the pants because like when when you're walking in them all you hear is you're like your legs rubbing and so you all you hear is oh whoosh, those are weird <laughs> Like Adidas, because I've had Adidas sweatpants before. It's like regular gym material, yeah. but like, uh, oh, the ones I think about is the uh, ripaways. Yeah. Oh yeah, ripaways. The I, ones that are like that weird fabric. My friend in high school had those, and like somebody pantsed her while we were walking down like the side of the road or whatever. And I was like, "Yeah, th- this is my cue never to get these." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what? Well, alrighty then. Yeah. yeah. Like since I'm like Russian Ukrainian, which is awkward for me right now, uh, <laughs> you know, I always wanted to get a stereotypical like Adidas tracksuit and just be like, oh, <laughs> oh god, the Slavic. Uh, <laughs> I, I am not Slavic. Yeah. You are Slavic. <laughs> yeah, you me, you no watch what you you're watch, saying. <laughs> my content you watch now. You know. <laughs> I just think it would be hilarious. I, I I never went through with it because, you know, in my head, I know I would get it. But I know a lot of people down here are just so not cultured enough to get it. So it's like, yeah, we're, we're just not going to pull that. You know, you're going to get like that 15 percent of the, the, the where, whenever you do it, you're going to get it like, ah, it's pretty good. And then you get the rest of them are like, what are you talking about? I don't get it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, she'll probably get a lot of like DM messages like "You marry me now?" Uh, <laughs> no, I'll get that really awkward DM message. Can I have you shipped to my house? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What it should be cost from Georgia? <laughs> yeah, what it should be cost a five foot girl? <laughs> oh my no, god! No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not condoning shipping people places or like human trafficking, but. She could fit in an express box. <laughs> Probably could. At one point, at one point, it was uh, you could actually shape your children with a USPS. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> oh. I, well, I don't remember that, but I remember hearing about that. Yeah, uh, it was uh, it was <laughs> pre uh, pre nineteen forty. You could do it. <laughs> well, that's why yeah. the forty. <laughs> then, uh, because then the Great Depression was cheaper to send them by the UP, uh, USPS than it was to actually travel to yourself. And so they would ship their children to like relatives that had more money. Yeah, history lessons. (laughs) History gym today. (laughs) Great depression. Do what you have to do. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh no. (laughs) Okay. God. (laughs) Done. (laughs) Yeah. Ridiculous. So, what's uh what's going on with um? Because I saw that you do a lot. I guess like you pick back up on doing the commentating on this your is 25 the minutes of this episode. Now you're bringing this up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> this is all going to be a ramble episode. Uh huh. Well, I just saw that Sam was commentating the, the, uh, beast morphers again. Well, no, I, I've had them. Okay. So I, with the beast morphers, I did it one day of just, straight watching it for like three hours or two hours whatever it was and i was like okay I'm gonna get a whole bunch of videos out and i will just spread them out sporadically especially when i don't have any other content or i don't feel like making anything this is what people are gonna get so <laughs> really take notes uh-huh so luckily you know i had all the beast morpher videos lined up and the last couple of episodes well, middle of the second season was really good. Like, I really enjoyed the wrestling swords. <laughs> like, I thought that was the coolest shit in the yeah. whole world. Like, I, obviously, you could tell from the videos, I was overly excited for no reason. And I thought it was awesome. And um, 
so I got to watch all that. I got to comment on all that. That was awesome. And then, like, Lincoln, uh, for those that don't know that are listening, that's my son. He's five. He's just getting into Power Rangers. He's just starting to watch it. He just is in love with it now, which is great for me. So now he wants to sit and watch the episodes with me. So I watched the rest of Beast Morphers with him, and I couldn't react to the rest, the last, like, two or three or maybe episodes, whatever it was. Yeah. But I didn't know that Jason was coming back. Jason, <laughs> I was like, man, he got beefy, like not in a good way. And then his voice was really deep too. And I was like, this is awkward, but I didn't, I didn't hate it. I was like, this is cool. But I did find it funny that when he got into his suit, that he was like 30 pounds thinner. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it wasn't him in that suit. Well, I, I think it's the same transit of property as uh, Justin becoming an adult when he uh, he, he he morphed in, in Turbo. Like, oh, hey, he's an adult. Yeah. I still haven't seen for Turbo yet, so don't. Oh, okay, it. well, Justin's the kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, he's... <laughs> that's about it. He's that um, kid one where everyone's like, what? <laughs> Why is there a kid here? Yeah. That whole that scenario was kind of awkward. So I can't wait to watch that and be like, what the hell is this? But, yeah. You know. <laughs> don't, we'll get- don't worry. Turbo, like, <laughs> don't want a Turbo not expecting much, and you will not be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I think the most you'll like is probably Diva Talks. Yeah. Diva Talks is a lot like of fun. Her. She is, uh, yeah. she is pure camp. Like, pure camp uh-huh. villain. And it's great. And and she defeated the Power Rangers too. Mm-hmm. She did defeat the Power Rangers. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. It then, tracks. It tracks. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> might you might not like the Phantom Ranger. He's really boring. Like he has a really cool like backstory, but yeah. it's a mystery. So no one like no one really knows. So it, it keeps it intriguing. Uh, but you're gonna be annoyed with because you're gonna be like, that was that. That's why everyone like had a big fuss about the Phantom Ranger. That. Yeah. Um, You'll like TJ. TJ's great. I'll, I'll get to it. I know um, with the Beast Morphers stuff, it was cool because they like showed a clip of the Psycho Rangers, and mm-hmm. we know that I'm trying to get into there and dabble into that. Um, so I was like, oh man, I'm going to finally see like a little bit of this like action with the Psycho Ranger. And they didn't even like bring him in. They were like, no. No, no, no. We're going to get... Um, Goldar 2.0. Oh, uh, that was weird. <laughs> like, like, I'm not saying it was bad. It was just weird. I was like, what the yeah. hell? <laughs> yeah, it was weird, but, like, it was cool. And then they had, like, all the other, like, different seasons, like, and they were all just battling. And I was like, oh, this is, this is pretty neat. I like this whole yeah. intergalactic, I know it's not intergalactic, multi-universe shit going on. And I was like, oh, that's neat. So Universe breaking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was... You know, I was upset that I couldn't, like, react to, like, the last couple of episodes, but I definitely enjoyed the end of Beast Morphers. The beginning was slow, and I couldn't really yeah. get into it that much, but everyone was right. The second season is better, and mm-hmm. I definitely, I mean, the the wrestling, if somebody told me that the wrestling scene was in there, that would have just sold it for me right then and there. <laughs> that wrestling scene was great to be fair with you it was really funny uh, like, yes. but yeah no that that season two was a lot better than season one because mm-hmm. I, I, it was hasbro getting their hands on the the, the property yeah. and so hasbro was working on season one and they kind of figured out what didn't work with season one and yeah. then they they just went full on ham with it on season two. Oh, and, yeah. and it well, was though it was what? absolutely great and i can't wait to watch you know all the other seasons too but i think i'm doing in space next so, in space is a lot uh, of fun. You like it. Uh, yeah, you'll like in space. It's TJ, really I think my favorite character is TJ. I don't know. Andrus is cool. Yeah. Zane is cool. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They're both cool. But TJ, like, I don't know. He's 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 a he's an all right dude. <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty all right dude. <laughs> Plain I, and simple. To like get more episodes and seasons in and stuff like that. So like everyone that's in the Power Ranger community that's like, oh, who's your top Rangers, or who's this, or who's that? I can have, like, an opinion, too. Yeah. Because every time somebody asks me, I feel like such an idiot, and I'm like, huh. <laughs> well, this person, I think I know. Um, I recommend, I highly recommend actually checking out a uh, checking out a 
video series called History of the Power Rangers by Linkara. Oh, that's I, I a good one. That. Because uh, he breaks down each season. Like you can kind of like so when you watch a season, you can go back through and watch his video and like see if you you know. Uh, and he explains more of the character development and stuff like that uh, in different ways. And it's, it's pretty good. Uh, him and Disney Brain both do History of the Power Rangers-esque series, but Linkars is first. And uh, I recommend going back through and checking those out just because, you know, it gives you some more insight. Because you, you'll watch it, you'll have your own opinions, and you can watch there yeah. and be like, oh, yeah. hey, you or, know, I kind of line up with or that. What or if, like, what if, like, we had get Sam to do her own uh, videos of like you know breaking down each season, but in the background somewhere it's like a pot on fire. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> just oh somewhere. Be like this. This season was uh, this season was pretty good. I I really liked Mac. Uh, he was he was kind of cool as an android. That was that was interesting. And my house is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I don't know what's going on right now, uh, but everything's on fire. <laughs> All right, guys. My pasta. My pasta. <laughs> My pasta was all. Ah. My pasta is always on point. Okay. Ah. Always on point. Is it always on? Is it always on? I can't do it. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce. I'm going to try to put pasta and point together. Height? Uh, I don't know. Nope. Swing and a miss. Don't hurt yourself, man. Don't hurt yourself on that one. What if you like paint? <laughs> if you're trying to combine words there. <laughs> I'm trying not to paste. Hack up a <laughs> Point, uh, pa- yeah. My pasta is always on paste. Nah, <laughs> that was a stretch, Jay. That hurt me. I appreciate it. I'm trying my best right now. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm trying to do my best to make you proud. <laughs> so proud of you. <laughs> what? What they call it? Scatty? Get the scatty out of here. Get get this scary out of here! Right, meow. What? Why are you meowing? I don't know. Why are you <laughs> meowing? I don't know. <laughs> so, any more any more resistance against the JDF clan? Of course, it always comes in way. <laughs> you know, I've said this in times before. Like, it'll go away, and everything's cool. You know, I'll poke fun and still make my little mocking joke you know audio videos of it um and no one really cares but then there's just one person that'll be like <coughs> excuse me I have something in my throat that just won't go away so is it death to... yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> like, Hi. you missed me yet <laughs> watch out she's dry drowning <laughs> but somebody will be like oh you know JDF is the best. I don't understand what do you what's your reason? And so like, you know, even though I've answered this a bajillion times before, you know, I'll make a video response because I know not everyone's going to go on my page and look through all my videos and, you know, find out why because you know that's mm-hmm. everyone everyone's a creep and I know everyone's a creep and they will go on somebody's page and like check everything out won't comment anything they won't like anything but they'll check you out and then they'll dip out because everyone does it it's common sense yeah but like it just astounds me like if you spent at least a second on my page you would you would find all your answers that you needed within a video or two of scrolling you know like it wouldn't mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you pop in there and like your videos really start with i hate <laughs> yeah <laughs> and with jd yeah. of course you I'll do a video response again and be like the vague answer because I don't want to get into it. And then it just spews all these other comments like, how dare you? Like, what? I'm so offended what? by this kid's, uh, this kid's TV show. I'm so offended. Uh. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, honestly, it, it's annoying at some point. Um, but on the other hand, I do still enjoy it because I'm, I'm spiteful. I'm spiteful. I don't care. So, like, you as long know, as you're honest about it, right? On ho and being like, oh, well, this is, this is, and I'm like, dude, it's Power Rangers. Like, my guy, come on now. Oh, are- come on. Like, chill, chill the calamity that is your memories. Come on, like, guy. Like, listen, I'm a 30 year old something lady, and you are, I don't know how old, I don't care. And 
director really tried to fight me over a fictional character in a TV show that we watched when we were five. Yeah. I, the, Sam, the question is, the question <laughs> is, do we use that word lady in quotation marks? Yes. Lady? <laughs> 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 and then do we use that dude fight me in quotation marks as well we're gonna yeah. do come fight me come on yeah, it was scary. Like, what are you... I don't even got work I'm speechless because it's just dumb <laughs> it's so dumb oh, I'm like come on yes we all love Power Rangers we all love Power Rangers we all have a just respect each other about it. Like it does not have to yeah. be a fight to the death. I will so, and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so to reiterate, you don't you don't hate the guy. You don't hate JDF. You just dislike the character because they keep reusing him. Or do you not oh. like JDF and you don't really care for Tommy? It, it's a little bit of both. So like. Okay. I don't like JDF because of how he presents himself on the internet. He, yes, he is very positive and everyone's like, yay! And I'm just like, God, just tone it down just a little bit. And he's just like, look at my past. Look at what I used to do. Look at this. And mm. I'm like, okay, Uncle Rico, that's great. Move along. And then, like, Tommy, the, the character himself, I, it tra- it's there too. So like that cockiness is in his character too. Like yeah. he knows he's the best or whatever, quote unquote, he's the best. Oh. But if he shows up, he's going to save everything. And he's just like, everyone looks up to me. <laughs> I have a, I have a thing for you, by the way. So we, we had a uh, Casey on the other, uh, other week. Uh, Casey is a really cool conspiracy theorist, Ranger guy. And he, he's pretty cool. And so we ended up talking about Jay, uh, Tommy as a Ranger. And he's like, you know, only reason why Tommy was the best ranger is because he was Zordon's yes man. He yeah, never that's... gave him any lip. He always did what Zordon told him to do that every is... single time. Oh. Never stopped. I was like, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, that that you honest something. <laughs> yeah. It's true, though. Even TJ showed up and TJ was like, dude, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> that's like, what? so much sense. Yeah. No, I totally agree with that. But yeah, so it's a little bit of like both in a way, but it's more JDF himself than Tommy. Because like a lot of the time I know in the when Tommy first came around and the whole Rita Repulsa thing and him being <clears throat> being evil and all that stuff, like I yeah. get it. That's why he was a douche. But at the same time, like when he wasn't a douche anymore, it was like, oh, but I'm just, I'm the leader now. Sorry, Jason. Bye. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I, I do want to. I, I do want to go back <laughs> real fast. And you said that Jason was kind of a uh, where he came back for the Dino uh, Beast Morphers. Yeah, Beast came Morphers. back for that. I still think he looked really cute. Like he had the dad well, vibe I, going on, but I was like, I'm cool with this. <laughs> well, no, I mean he was still you know Jason, but it was just like grown up Jason. And I yeah, just like too grown up Jason, and I was like. like Huh. <laughs> I, I can see myself dating that Jason and be like, yeah, I can well, see Well, yeah, it. no, I, I mean, as a grown-ass myself, like, I, I wouldn't <laughs> care, obviously, like, that stuff kind of doesn't matter to me, but at the same time, it just, it threw me for a loop because he, I, you know, everything that I've watched thus far, it's always been Tommy Jason. Yeah. and Jason, so, like, when Jason came back, I was like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> like, hold <laughs> so, up. <laughs> like, and, like, I, I've always seen JDF more on social media than I have Austin. And, like, I follow, oh, yeah. I follow Austin on, like, Instagram and whatever. Yeah. But, like, I guess I don't notice his appearance. But, like, JDF is just, like, in your face and, ha! Ah, yeah, you know? well, JDF posts a lot like, of stuff constantly. Yeah. Uh, well, well Austin's saying, uh, Austin, it, you know, it's not as much like, once in a while kind of thing. Yeah. And, I, the people, I think that's the way to kind of do it is like just once in a while, you know, just kind of like, hey guys, what's up? And yeah. like check in, do your thing, live your yeah. life. But uh, yeah, JDF is a little too much most of the times, especially even for me. I'm like, dude, calm down like three steps there. Like, I get it. Cool. Yeah. Just go live your life, man. Enjoy yeah. yourself. What else is going on? You have nothing else going on in your life? Can you not go enjoy yourself? What? <laughs> 
that's the thing. Like everyone else, like I know with David Joyce, I obviously follow him and, you know, he'll do the Power Rangers stuff, but he's very chill about it. And he's yeah. not over like bearing or like crazy mm-hmm. or anything like that. And I know I follow um, Zach and I can't think of his. Walter actor. Jones. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it starts with mm-hmm. you. I don't, I, it's not William. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Oh, I, I like uh Catherine Southern does some stuff for PR. Uh, her in the um, yeah, we I want to say the lady who did uh Aisha Tanya, yeah. not Aisha Tanya, the Zio, uh, the Zio gallery oh. because they switched. Her, they both get together and they do they do a PR skit once a month. Yeah, you told they me do about... a, they do an interview once a month and a PR skit once a month, and they're really funny. But that that's it. That's all they really do. They you know they promote for the show like they're doing their own show and stuff. But that's really about it. The rest of it's just them having a good time, and I'm like, this is great. Like, I like this. This is a lot of fun. Like, you're not running into the ground. You're just having a good time with it. Yeah, we talked about that the last time. Like, everyone's pretty much so chill and humble, and just like, hey, yeah. we got all this stuff going on, but don't worry, we don't forget our roots. So here's yeah. a little bit of that, and here, you know, we're still here for our fans, obviously, but yeah, mm-hmm. all twenty four seven. Uh, in your face you're like uh, face it's like bro i mean if yeah. you're just say something like <laughs> you know like, if you, you give you if you if you're lonely you need help you can call <laughs> 311 <laughs> it's uh but yeah i mean oh. Billy, have you called 311 yet <laughs> no i just saw the episode title name sam meeting because our phone don't work <laughs> God dang it, I just looked up. I was like, what is that? <laughs> but you know, surprisingly, <laughs> other than JDF, and even though, like, I do wear the stuff and everything, yeah. King Kimberly is overrated, too. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. Well, Our... I, I never... Okay. <laughs> the Ranger Slayer. The the yeah. whole character of Ranger Slayer? Yeah. Cool. That was awesome. Post, uh, post Pink Ranger Kimberly? Like, yeah. Uh, in the comic, the pink comic. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. But Kimberly yeah. by herself, I found annoying. Oh. And I, I, I never found attractive. I, I never found Amy Jo Johnson attractive. Mainly because, you know, I I am who I am. Yeah. <laughs> but um like I get it. I get how a lot of guys like her and stuff. I get it, but it, it never resonated for me ever. Yeah. But I found Kimberly super boring. I never like she's always a dandelion in the stress too. Like in season three, she's always losing her powers and everything else. And I was like, come on, get your shit together. And, let's go. And she sent a dear John letter. And yeah. a dear John letter. I'm like, you couldn't do like a regular letter? You, no, you had to do you a couldn't dear call get out of here. You couldn't call the guy. God dang. When like, I was a kid, like I literally, you know, everyone was always like, Oh yeah, Kimberly, she's the best. You know, any girl that ever liked, you know, Power Rangers. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, but Trini, like, kicks ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Trini was awesome. She was a smart yeah. lady. Oh, she, yeah. She, you know, she hung out with Billy all the time, and, like, they 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 made stuff constantly. It was really cool. I'm like, yeah! And, yeah, no. Can't believe it was always a Valley Girl. And I found, I, I think Valley Girls are exceptionally annoying. Like, I know they're not, but I find that does- style of lifestyle is really annoying for me. <laughs> the girls that are, like, the pick-me girls now, or whatever yeah. you call them, she is a pick me girl. She is yeah. a pick me girl. A hundred and ten percent. I without a doubt. Like, no, I would yeah. not want her. <laughs> yeah. No. He was like, I'm good. No, I'm good. Yeah. But like the, the comic comic version of her is a lot better. I like her as a comic version. Like the comics, oh, I love the comics. The comics have done such good work for the characters. Like they made Billy Hey, exactly. Like, I actually got it. Oh, I hate you so much. Ooh. I'm looking for that one right now. I hate you. Okay, but uh, so like the comics, Billy's a better character in the comics. He has more uh, more character development. Uh, yeah. So does Trini. Trini gets a whole like Draken interaction character development with her and Draken. I'm not gonna get too involved with that. But it's really cool. Zach. Zach is not just the black dude. He's like a full character. It's amazing. And I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna recommend the comics to you any day of the week because it's really good. Mm-hmm. I have a stack. A Power Ranger comics like this thick, right? They're all sealed, and I haven't opened any of them yet. 
but they're all like originals and all this shit. And I'm like, I need, I need to open this, but like, you know, <laughs> yeah, physically. Open there it. is a, there's a YouTuber called the comic story and you should check out. He does readings of the Power Ranger comics yeah. with epic voices and stuff. He does all the epic stuff and it's really good. And he goes through all the comics and whatnot. And it's fantastic. And uh, in case you don't want to open your comics, and they do scene by scene too, so they do like pages and like they do the whole arc. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Eventually, I have to open mine. I, it's stupid. I, it's stupid that I don't open. <laughs> like I hate myself for not opening it because like I have. I'm staring at it right now, but I have that Rock'em Sock'em robot uh, set where it's. I think it's JDF and uh, I think it's Lord Zed up there. I can't see it. Okay. But they're, you know, you battle them like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Yeah. I'm like, what is, I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you yeah. would enjoy it too. And I'm like, oh, we need to play this. And I'm like, I that thing has been sealed for almost 30 years. <laughs> yeah, almost 30 years now, yeah. <laughs> I'm not opening that thing. Unless well, I... You guys, I remember, remember at this point now, the plastic's pretty brittle too. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. If oh, you yeah. want a rock and soccer robot, go to the store, pick a rock and soccer robot, paint one red, paint one white, have at it. <laughs> there somewhere, so I could, I could yeah. yeah. I'll tell that's what I could tell Lincoln to do because he's into painting too. So like <laughs> I showed him the Meow Rangers the other day. I think I <laughs> that. So he is obsessed. We watch the same ten episodes over and over and over again on a loop when he can, comes home from school. And um, so now he's had me draw them for him. So I, I'm not an artist by any means, but I've been drawing cats everywhere and Power Rangers for him. So he, like, I feel like that's 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 the thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you you had me in the first half, but then you, you're like, I draw cats. I was like, oh no. <laughs> cats, I mean. Like I draw, like I draw cats. I get like, oh, art cats. What why? Okay, so I draw a Gale from Bob's Burgers and like turn them around to show buttholes. I mean, what is? <laughs> God, Billy, Billy has a reference to this. Billy doesn't watch Bob's, but I get this entirely because the art crawl was a great episode, and Luis <laughs> with Ollie and Andy, uh, they're they're like trying to figure out they can leave or not, and then Luis shows back up. Mama's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I was back. You uh, better have been making yeah. art. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch Bob's. Damn. Same. You start watching; it's great. You'll love it. I like, love. It. Watch a whole episode all the way through because if you jump in halfway through, you're not gonna know anything that's going on. And I feel like Gene will be your favorite character because Gene oh is great. God. Great. Lincoln loves Gene. Um, Lincoln hasn't wa- watched Bob's Burgers other than on my tiny TV that I have. Yeah. The- and. He- he told me at one point he he's gonna change his mind though, but he wants to be Burger Gene and have the costume for Halloween. Do uh, it! I want to see this. This is gonna be great because not gonna lie to you, your son kind of looks like Gene. Oh, I know. Like just <laughs> oh, a little bit. And then like there was another scene of like Gene on the toilet with a taco, and he was like taco toilets or whatever, and like it was <laughs> the greatest idea ever. And I'm like, I'm telling you, Billy, you're gonna love Bob's Burgers because Gene <laughs> okay. is amazing. Linda, Linda, and Gene are great. Okay, They're so, so I've seen one episode. It was the one where he was the Squatch hamburger. Yes. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's the one I've seen. Yeah. Watch yeah. more. Uh, watch more. It's a really, really, really good series. Uh, and Bob, I love Bob. Bob like I love, I like everyone in the cast except for uh, uh, Jimmy Pesto. He he's annoying. He gives people named Jimmy oh. a bad name. Jimmy like, Pesto explains yeah. explains why you changed your name. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's the only reason oh. why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not, not to make my business card easier to read. No, no, just because of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not, not because Jimmy's hard to pronounce while you're doing a uh, intro for a customer service thing. Thank you for calling. Bleep. My name is Jimmy. How may I help you today? <laughs> press one. <laughs> exactly. Press, press one if you want to cry. <laughs> Press two, yeah. if you okay. want me to cry. Press three, if you want us both to cry. Press four, if you yeah. need help. <laughs> no. So I went to this place for lunch. Oh, I told you already. T-Spot. You haven't told us. You haven't told the podcast. Oh. You're still recording. So the, we're, 
Yeah, no. Literally this morning, Jimmy and I were just like, where's Billy? <laughs> we didn't hear anything from you. And I was it, like, I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. I'll come back in a little bit and see where you guys are at. <laughs> Oops. No, we, we we had a we had a planning meeting with uh, Ben this morning too that Billy didn't show up to. Apparently he was asleep. Wow. Like I'm asleep what, this morning. At what midnight? No, this morning at like nine a.m. Oh, I was. Oh yeah, I was asleep. Yeah. Wait, exactly. who, why are you doing shit at nine a.m.? Who is willingly wanting to do that? Ben's up at that point. Like he's up at like yeah. he, he he works overnight, so at that point he's up. So. Okay, well, that's on his behalf, but the yeah. rest. Well, yeah, I'm doing it for him. Like normally my meetings are at eleven, so like my 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 meetings are like ten, eleven o'clock ish. Be like, okay, our meetings are this point in time, you know, roughly. Unless you live in California, then it's like three. Yeah. Whatever. I do. Uh, I was up at five thirty this morning. What are you doing at five thirty? I went to Walmart. Why are you going to Walmart at five thirty? You looking for toys? Because there's n- nobody there. No traffic. No nothing. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> On that note, everyone, we're we're doing this a little early because that was dumb. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. I love yeah. to have you on more often because I know I, I, know, t- I know I know your life's a little hectic sometimes, so it gets a little weird getting on here. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate you coming on. We really do. I just wish you would increase the. Uh, I got increase. Got a thing of fire and put it behind me. I need a fire backdrop. Uh, we can make that happen. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. <laughs> okay, all, all you do, okay, we we're using Skype. All you would do is you would have a fire GIF on uh-huh. uh, as a photo. Save it, save it as a fire GIF as your photo, and then you would make that your background image on Skype, and that would leave you with a fiery background. Heads up, everyone, oh. this is how you do things on Skype. Uh, you just put GIFs or PNG moving PNG files. Those work as well. We could just put the we could just put a picture of the GIF of. Linda laughing with fire. Exactly. Right. It's yeah. Luis. It's Luis, you jerk. Yeah. Luis. Oh, Luis with fire. Or oh, you my God. My picture on uh, whatever, uh, Discord. Yeah. You can do that, too. Yeah. Uh, by Ooh, the way, you need yeah. to uh, you need to look up uh, the, the voice actor who plays Mort, by the way. He looks just like Mort. Oh, that's frightening. He looks exactly like Mark. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, okay, cool. So is Gene. The guy who plays Gene oh, looks exactly like Gene. Is odd point. And even the dude that does the voice for Tina, he looks exactly like you Tina. You know, you sound like Tina? No, I did not know I sound like Tina. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay. All right, Bill, you want to wrap this up? Uh, yeah, I don't know how. Thanks for being on the show today, Sam. We appreciate it. You can follow us at Zio to Hero. Uh, head up our YouTube channel, uh, which you will be seeing this if you're on the YouTube channel. You'll see this. And we'll put some cards at the end so you can see more stuff uh, from our YouTube channel, like behind the mics. Uh, and we'll check out our partners like Baker Rangers, Red Corner Stranger, Neon Lights. They're all going to be, uh, we'll, we'll put those in the, the end, end title card. Follow us everywhere on social media with Zio to Hero for TikTok. That's Z2HPod. But make sure you check us out on YouTube. If you're coming to our channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We want that. We want a little change our name. We want a little change our address on uh, on YouTube. We want to change it to Zio to Hero instead of having that long, stupid URL. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to close this one up. But you have anything else left to say? Uh, shenanigans. Shenanigans. You got anything else left you want to say, Sam? Um, you know, in the beginning when you were talking about wild thornberries, it was Donnie you were thinking of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Billy here. If you're liking the show, give us a rating and review. It helps us in the algorithm to be easily found by fans and creators. You can find us at zero to hero.com and follow us on all our social medias with zero to hero pod and on TikTok at Z2H pod. Dude spectrum than I am on the woman. Oh spectrum. no, Sam, we didn't know this. Oh, oh no, we never would have. Wow, known we God. totally couldn't figure Damn. this one out. Oh shit! Oh no, come on, my whole plan is ruined. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, no I-